What up, everybody? Power Season 5, we were introduced to Braden Weston, a high school basketball player when he was Tariq's roommate at show. This was a very dark time for Tariq after the death of his sister, Raina, and initially went to Choate to get away from everything that happened recently after Tariq was involved in a robbery gone wrong that resulted in a lady getting killed. And after his birthday, that also went terribly wrong, first Tasha getting the wrong cake, and pretty much letting Tariq know that she wished he died instead of Raina, and Ghost coming home drunk and having a heated altercation with Tariq. But before he left to go back to school, he stole some prescription pills from Tasha. But for whatever reason, he never decided to take them. Ghost coming home drunk could have possibly influenced that decision because when Kanan gave him a ride back to school, he didn't want any lean either. Our first look at Braden Weston is when he walked into their dorm room at show and saw the pills that Tariq stole from Tasha sitting on the desk. And Braden let Tariq know that he loved those things and his sister gets a prescription of them and offered to pay Tariq to get a few. But Tariq straight up told Braden that they weren't for sale. And Braden got an attitude about this, then went on his business. At this point, if Tariq would have never got into the game, him and Braden would have never been friends and Braden would have likely turned out to be Trace's flunky because he was already doing pills in high school so he would have most likely progressed and just been like the guys from his family's company. But after Caden showed some product to Tariq, he changed his mind and sold Braden the whole bottle, then text Caden back and told him there was a market for pills at Choate, like he said. And the two were in business until Tariq got expelled. And as the two went on with their lives, notice they weren't so good of friends or anything like that, where they actually kept in contact. But when Tariq went to Stansfield, he bumped into Braden and found out that Braden's family built half the campus. And at this point, Braden wanted back in the game. And Tariq had no choice but to get back in the game himself to pay Davis for Tasha's defense. And everything was all good for a while, but then Braden hooked up with Riley, and we saw how easily he could be influenced. Riley started asking Braden all kinds of questions about Tariq for her uncle's sex, and planting seeds in Braden's head in the process. Braden initially snapped on Riley and told her that he minds his own business. But we saw later on Braden get an attitude with Tariq where he was forced to tell Braden about the Tejadas. Then we get to season two, and Braden begins working closer with Kane Tejada when Kane became the connect working for Mecca. And much like Riley, Kane also started planting seeds in Braden's mind against Tariq, trying to convince Braden that he worked for Tariq and that him and Tariq weren't actually business partners. And Braden keeping secrets from Tariq got Tariq caught up in the double murder trial because Kane was able to plant Ramirez's badge in Tariq's drawer while Braden was in the restroom. Then when Tariq asked Braden if Kane had been there, Braden lied and said no. This was the first real clue that Tariq can't trust Braden Weston. But Braden made it up to Tariq when he took the stand at Tariq's trial and admitted to being the campus drug dealer. Either though, Braden wasn't willing to go far enough to give Tariq the picture of his dad and Rick Sweeney. Also, a couple things to keep in mind is that Braden really didn't have much to lose. Like Tariq said, he admitted on the stand to being a drug dealer and his punishment was a six-figure income. Also, Braden had full immunity in this case. All he had to do was testify. So he wasn't being threatened with any jail time. And more importantly, he wasn't in jail with no way out other than snitching. If he was put in that position and held it down, that's another level of loyalty. And around this same time, Tariq had given Braden the task to get Lauren out of town safely, while at the same time, Kane gave Braden the task of killing Lauren. And Braden did side with Tariq, but was this because of his loyalty or because he was unwilling to catch a body? But when he was about to send Lauren out of town with the money, Effie stopped him and tried to take Lauren out herself. Something Braden never came clean about to Tariq until Tariq found out the truth for himself. Moving on to season three, Tariq was clean out the game after Mecca's death 
and was ready to move on with life, graduate, get his trust, and be with his family. But Braden set up a fake meeting with Kane, telling Tariq Kane needed to talk to them about the business. And when they were at this meeting, Tariq said it felt good to be out the game. But that wasn't going to last long because Noma and her men stormed into the penthouse where they were forced to convince Noma that they could replace Mecca to save their own lives. Then Tariq got an internship with Rashad Tate for his campaign for Congress. But Braden paid Tate off to not give Tariq the job and give it to Bruce Chandria instead, forcing Tariq to take an internship at Weston Holdings, where he would convince Tariq to start moving product. And by working at Weston Holdings, Tariq got caught up with Braden's shady uncle Lucas, where he lost his entire trust trying to keep his internship by landing RSJ. And a lot of people have told me that they don't think that Tariq actually lost his entire trust because he didn't have the rights to move it. But he said he convinced his lawyer to move it right in front of Lucas. And trust me, if Tariq didn't actually move his trust there, Lucas would have definitely let him know about it. So I'm pretty sure that's settled. And the only thing Tariq can inherit at this point is Club Troop. Then Brayden got into a relationship with Kiki, where she also began planting seeds in Brayden's mind against Tariq, saying things like, If you're the brains of this whole operation, then why are you worried about Tariq St. Patrick? And after killing his uncle, Brayden was ready to get out the game, cold turkey, leaving Tariq with the bag before he came through at the end of Season 3 and saved Tariq's life. Notice the end of Season 2 and 3 Braden saved Tariq. Could season four end in Braden's betrayal? I made another video not too long ago. I'll add the link in the comments if you haven't checked it out. Talking about Braden getting arrested for killing his uncle and turning snitch on Tariq to save himself and his family. Because in the season three finale, Medina asked Blanc and Jenny about Lucas's death and they said there was nothing they could prove. But they knew something happened and Medita told them to circle the wagons and secure the witnesses. So I don't think we've heard the last of this situation. And Braden's prints were on the balcony. And he is most likely also on hotel security. Or at least caught on security in that area. And Gianni Paolo, who plays Braden, gave a huge season 4 clue on the Crew Has It podcast. He talked about filming a scene where he was supposed to initially just read a voiceover but ended up having to record this speech in front of a bunch of people. And from the sound of it, Braden has to give a speech at a funeral. And my first assumption of whose funeral Braden is speaking at would be Trace Weston's. And if Trace gets killed as a result of Braden, we could possibly see Braden turn to drugs. Even worse, if it's Braden's father, Robert, who gets killed. Because Braden never really had to get in the game in the first place. But like Kane said, he's an adrenaline junkie. So if this happens where Trace or any of his family members get killed, this could give Brayden the motive to turn on Tariq. And every season, there's been somebody in his ear trying to get Brayden to turn on Tariq. Who will be that voice in season four? Because we definitely know it's coming. Almost giving me Peter from Hunger Games vibes, where if someone gets in Brayden's head enough, then add in the fact that he could be on drugs and Braden could be used as a weapon against Tariq. You know, putting stuff in his head like, it's Tariq's fault that your family lost everything. It's Tariq's fault that your family member got killed. If Tariq St. Patrick would have never came into your life, how much better would things be right now? He destroyed your life. He even killed his own father. What makes you think that you're not next? He has to be stopped. And that might be true, but if Tariq never met Brayden and decided to start selling those pills, he might have went to school and graduated and became a successful businessman like RSJ. So it's safe to say that they had a mutual bad influence on each other. So will their bond grow closer in season four? Or will Brayden be another enemy to add to Tariq's list? And possibly the one Tariq never saw coming. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.